We have Heather Dennis with us now so that we can kind of talk through all of these things. And we bring her here all the time so that she can walk us through this and kind of make sense of everything that we're seeing. And Heather, as we looked at the CFP rankings uh, at 7 p.m. today, we were very shook by the fact that the Big 12, for some reason, has completely overtaken the CFP, um, jumped by five and eight positions. So when you look at the CFP rankings this week, what stands out to you? Well, you know, it was status quo of the top seven, but I thought it was interesting to hear CFP committee chair Gary Barta say that there was a significant discussion about whether or not Texas A&M should jump Ohio State for that fourth spot. And I'm sitting there thinking, Ohio State's already an X factor. And for them to be thinking about dropping them out of that top four spot now, and they didn't even miss a, miss a Michigan State or Michigan game, I thought that was pretty telling. There's not, a, there's not a given there for that fourth spot. It's not a lock. Well, and Heather, I mean, we talked to Gary earlier, and I mentioned it then, but we've always always joked that you can't get blown out and make the college football playoff, but there's Texas A&M with the blowout loss. So, you know, how is the committee treating blowouts now? So, it, you know, it's interesting. If you look at Georgia, too, the committee likes their losses. There's such a thing as a good loss, right? Look, I'm surprised that Texas A&M is – even the fifth best team. I mean, if we're, I'm not surprised that this is how it shook out tonight. I'm saying I personally have questions about whether or not the Aggies are good enough to be number five because if you watch that LSU game closely, they should have won by 50 points. LSU can't protect their quarterback. They can't catch the ball. And then you have Texas A&M. They, they should have, I mean, if it wasn't for the pick six, we're not even talking about what they did offensively. So I think that when you look at the selection committee and blowout wins and blowout losses, it more than anything, what's going to matter is how many games did you play? And I think at the end of the day, that could hurt Ohio State. I think that's interesting, Heather, and, and looking forward now, you have a great article up on .com kind of outlining what the path looks like as we go ahead. So I'm curious, as you look at this upcoming weekend and you look at some of the X-Factor teams involved, who's got the most at stake, not only for their own future, but for what could happen to the other teams that are hopefuls around that 4, 5, 6 area? Well, I, you know, I do think that Texas A&M at Auburn is important. But when you're looking at Cincinnati, they have a path into this thing. And when we talk about conference championship games and we talk about the possibility that Ohio State might not play for the Big Ten title, that's all important because Cincinnati can. And if they run the table and they finish as undefeated American Athletic Conference champions, we're looking at a 10-game resume compared to whatever Ohio State might play. And if you add that to Texas A&M losing at Auburn, um, and then if Alabama beats Florida and knocks them out of the way, and uh, if Notre Dame were to beat Clemson and knock them out of the way, Cincinnati can make a very good case to sneak in that top four. Heather, we've mentioned this art the article that you wrote on .com about all of the different scenarios that could happen. One of the scenarios is, does include BYU kind of breaking into that top four? Now what we know after this second ranking, do you feel like that is more likely for BYU, for a BYU team to make it into the top four? Uh, BYU needs a miracle. Let's be very, very clear yeah. about this, right? When they were when they were ranked, what was it, fifteen mm -hmm. last week? What? Because they moved up. To, they moved up to 14. thirteen. No, they're fourteen. They moved yeah, up to thirteen, yeah. right? Everybody, yeah, everybody lost their minds. But the committee didn't care. They didn't listen to any of it. They moved them up one spot. They're still not even in New Year's Six contention. But if you have all kinds of chaos, then maybe, maybe it can happen. But I just think that it's, it's such a long shot. But the funny thing is, is when I put that scenario into our playoff predictor and the machine hardly, we don't usually <laughs> agree with each other, it actually gave BYU a fighting chance. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so as we've looked through all of this, is there one team left that has really – is there one ranking that has surprised you so far, Heather? Uh, Georgia. 
Georgia is the one two weeks in a row that, that just continues to blow me away because I don't think they passed the eye test. I don't think they passed the resume test. And if you're going to hold BYU's strength of schedule against them, why isn't it applied consistently against Georgia? Because their opponents have just – the teams that they have beaten have have been dreadful. It's a, it's a losing record. So that one is one that continues to baffle me as a top 10 team. All right, Heather, as always, we like to throw you little curveballs. Everybody's getting one tonight. We're playing a game. It's a Mad Lib game, okay? You don't get to be in on the, 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 the whole secret here. We just, we're going to ask you very specific questions. We need your honest answers. Are you ready for this? Never ready. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. So first, like your guilty pleasure TV network. It can't be ESPN. Like your guilty pleasure TV network. Uh, it's totally Lifetime. For, forget the Hallmark movies, whatever that is. Just the Lifetime movie <laughs> network. I need, I need that. God, you don't know how happy I am that you said that. All right. Next, we need like any celebrity crush from your life. Any celebrity you've ever had a crush on. <laughs> Bruce Willis. Yes. <laughs> That's a good yes. One. Yeah. solid one. Uh, we'll let you know. If, uh, yeah, yeah. Old Bruce oh, Willis wow. or young wow. Bruce Willis is what we're being asked. Old or young? <laughs> Oh, Die Hard movies. Die Hard movies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All in on this. All right. <laughs> Heather, we appreciate your time. We That's will be cool. sure you know how this Mad Lib played out. But uh, you have been every bit the delightful teammate we knew you would be. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Heather. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.